You know? You know? What is going to happen here? That's not even the right one to click on. That's how excited I am about this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the James Lawrence Talk channel. Oh, my good Lord. The Premier League title race. I don't even want to say it's hotting up by this point. It is. It is two thighs rubbing together for hours on end. And it's just like, oh. I imagine if you're an Arsenal fan. Arsenal, of course, have dropped points against Liverpool. Will it be a point that will get them the title? Will it be one that stops them from getting it? I've just been thinking about who's going to win it, who's going to win it. And so many people on this FN platform have said, guaranteed it's this team, guaranteed it's this team. And I've not done that because it's rubbish, <laughs> especially this year. You have two contenders here. And a massive thank you to Sky Sports because I have just stolen their picture. You've got two clubs here that are so different. Man City have so much experience. They have a squad littered with team with players, sorry, that have time and again produced, time and again dealt with the tension of this, where we are right now, with ten games to, sorry, eight, nine games to go. And it is so intense, right? And I think we've been kind of going, Arsenal will do it, Arsenal will do it. And I had to I had to break it down. And I'm going to show you it because there are four games. There are four games for both teams that will decide the title race. And I thought Arsenal had lost it. I thought they'd lost it today. But they're sweet, sweet gunners. Are, they're still sweet. Okay? And we need to remember that because for 40-odd minutes against Liverpool, they were phenomenal. And I think the Liverpool game's a little bit of an anomaly. I think there's very few teams that would be able to kind of bounce back. I think the crowd makes a difference. I think a lot of people have spoken about that. But when I look at the fixtures, the... if you're an Arsenal fan, you're just going... Now, I'm going to go through this. And what I thought was a massive problem for Arsenal has led me to then look at Man City's fixtures. Now, the experience, I think, plays a part in this. But there are four games on both sides that will decide it for me. So shall we go through it? What's amazing is if you put the points in for the guaranteed three points that I expect them to get for the other ones, where it leaves the title race is Arsenal getting 12 points, 12 guaranteed points, I think, Arsenal get. And that puts them at 85. So I expect fully Arsenal to beat West Ham, to beat Southampton, to beat Forest, even at the end of the season. And what I would say, for um, Arsenal's, t Arsenal's fixtures are so much harder because you've got to think of season state. So you've heard of game state. I talk about it very often. Game state as well, like... You know, stats change because you're 3-0 up, so you take your foot off, so they have a bit of momentum. The same goes with your season. And so that needs to be remembered when we're looking at these fixtures. Like, where are these guys at? Jamie Carragher made a very interesting point where he said, Man City, you've got to remember, will quite possibly be going for the treble here, right? So if they're going for the treble, they're going to have to sort of mix it about a bit to kind of keep players fresh. Because you're going to be playing, quite possibly, Real Madrid in the semi-finals again. Right? And you've got all these games that you've got to play. Right? And at the moment, you know, you haven't got the... Bi these are just Premier League games. You've got two Bayern Munich games in that. There would be two more crowbarred within all of this. And the Brighton game's not even in there yet. So, Man City have the experience. But Man City have the fixture congestion. But I, I wonder if that will not hurt Arsenal, but it adds more pressure on them the fact that you're not just playing you're playing you're playing you're playing you're playing but it also gives them time and really there's no excuse in that you know to have that sort of rest should allow you to have your best players and your best players on the bench and you know you're not too concerned about squad depth now Arsenal's squad so far has been incredibly versatile and fantastic so that's another great part that they have but the four games I'm struggling with with them and I'll give you my gut feeling on it now. And again, I don't know who's going to win this. But what I find amazing is that with those four guaranteed victories, with Man City, I see guaranteed victories with Leicester at home because they are terrible. 
right now. The Arsenal game, we don't know. Fulham are on the beach. You know, we're talking about season state. Fulham are on the beach right now. West Ham may well be on the beach by that point. Maybe not. Might still be fighting for it. As I said, they've been pretty rubbish as well. And by the way, I'm going to be doing a video on the relegation places and how I see that one panning out as well. So if you are new to the, to the channel, do hit subscribe. Do hit the like button as well and notification bell as well. Um, trying to get to 250k by the end of the season, which would be glorious. So if you do want to support the channel, please just hit that button for me. Uh, right. Because I then see, although it's a cluster, and actually in my video where I was talking about fixtures, the, the key area for me, I think I'll still, um, Man City can obviously be absolutely everyone. But the guaranteed points I've put in here is Leicester on paper, Fulham because of beach, right? Even though it's away from home. West Ham, even if they are fighting at home, like that could be a banana skin, maybe. But really, they should be winning that. Leeds at home should be absolutely winning that from what we've seen the last couple of weeks. Everton away. I still think they should have enough to be able to beat Everton, despite, you know, Everton making it tough. They always do. The quality has got to be there. There's absolutely no excuse. So the four games that Man City are going to struggle with and that will decide the title are Arsenal at home, Chelsea at home, Brentford away, Brighton away. And we don't know when Bright when they're playing Brighton as well. Here's what my gut says. I think Man City do it. Oh, stop fans all around the globe. You're up against it here. Let's be honest. And as I say, everyone's just kind of been going, this is why Arsenal are title. This is why they're going to win the league. You can absolutely win the league. And as I say, when we come down to it, when we put those points together, that puts Man City at 82 and Arsenal at 85. Which then brings it down to that game. Man City currently have a far better goal difference, as as you can see. And that gives it to Man City. So Arsenal are still the underdog here. They really are. I really believe they are the underdog here. Because the thing that they've got is you've got... You then break it down. It's Man City away. It's not Man City at home. You know, Man City playing at home are very good. And they're really purring now. So that, I think, gives Man City huge advantage there. Chelsea at home. Both teams have got to play Chelsea at home. But Man City playing Chelsea at home, it means less. This means less, as Liverpool would say. Because Chelsea and Arsenal hate each other. And the this sort of social media guff around it. That's not guff, it's good fun. Like the bants will be there. And it'll be rife. And you could just imagine Chelsea doing what Chelsea did to Tottenham against Arsenal. You could just see it, can't you? Arsenal fans are probably hating me right now, but I, 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 I feel like I'm speaking the truth here. So that makes those of those four games for Arsenal, City away, Chelsea, horrible London derby you just don't need. Newcastle away at Newcastle when they're still fighting for the Champions League places. That is so hard. That is so hard, especially this season, because they are frothing at the mouth. I mean that in a complimentary way. And they're, they're killing it as well at the moment, right? What was it five wins on spin? So that game's so, so hard. And then Brighton at home. You've got a bit of history with Brighton. That's one thing. But secondly, I think Brighton are one of the best teams in the league. Like, I think they, in terms of, maybe don't have the quality to sort of finish off the chances. But in terms of o overall play, Brighton are a horrible, horrible, horrible team to play. Especially when you've got to win. Like, that kind of plays into Brighton's hands a little bit. I think they'll really enjoy that. Now, you, you look, you beat them early in the season, you could beat them again. You could win all those games. But you cannot suggest anything apart from the fact that Arsenal are the underdogs for the title. You have to say that. Saying they're favourites, no, 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 no. Man City, Man City are the favourites. Because if we go back to those four games for them, Arsenal at home, you would take that, right? Second of all, the mentality of the chasing pack, I think they've still kind of got that because of the way it is, right? They've got to play their games, they've got to win their games, fine. 
the like you know the experience in that team the goals that they're scoring the ones that haven't won the league before are Grealish and Haaland who are quite possibly their best players right obviously De Bruyne aside Chelsea at home again you're playing at home and I just think Chelsea Chelsea have had some horrible games against Man City over the years I think they will be pretty fearful but you never know obviously they have quality maybe they'll have a bit of um, momentum by them who knows maybe they're still in the Champions League who knows maybe they've just played each other in the semi-finals of the Champions League who knows but I wouldn't be surprised if that's you know when we're talking about beach ready the Chelsea players are obviously going to be beach ready right Brentford away from home is trickier beach ready aren't they I think Europe looks like it's a little bit too far away from them. And then the Brighton game, which will probably be in game week sort of 37 around that Chelsea-Brentford time. You could imagine, we'll see, but again, you might be playing Brighton at a good time because they might be knackered and they might be, you know, out of it. Thus beach ready. So, needed that win really today. So you may have just lost the title if we want to go there. But you are certainly the underdogs for the title race. If we're looking at it properly. Which some people don't seem to want to do for some reason. What a season you've had. And obviously a long way to go. And the key area when I looked at the fixtures for Man City. Again, it was it was more about the sort of the West Ham Leeds Everton. Because you would fully expect them to win that. And it's those games that they've dropped points this season. But they just seem a little bit different. Again, that may change game on game. And they have a lot of games. But I just, I felt that needed saying. Those Gunners have been sweet, sweet. They are the sweet, sweet Gunners. Okay? But they are the underdogs for this title race. And if they do it, they will have done it in an incredibly difficult environment. I'm not sure I really took that in when I did that video a, a week ago. I've probably said a lot of things that are contradictory to this. So go check that one out. I looked at the key areas for all the, or every single club in the Premier League. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below if you disagree or agree. And let me know how many points you think Arsenal will get by the end of the season. It's up for grabs. See you soon.